So here's our macro view setup on the breadboard. First, you'll see in the background here, I've got an LM386 amp module. Really great for troubleshooting and for identifying our, that our signal is working before we try to receive it. Um, really indispensable. Got an 8 ohm speaker here. And I'm just going to show you here with the lead coming out of the amp module what our tone is that's being generated by the 555 timer right here. Okay, so that's the signal we're going to be um, transmitting today. You can use any audio signal, any signal at all. I have it coming out of pin 3 on the 555 into pin 3 on the 386 chip over here. This is the transmission um, transmitter part of the circuit right in here. Pretty wild. I'm using LED lights now and I've got this 5 watt illuminating this schematic and I'm noticing this glowing effect over the page here. I don't know if you can make that out. There are a couple interesting things here as far as the oscillation which is neat to see in the schematic. The NPN transistors um, what's kind of regulating the oscillation. There's a couple cool components of that. You'll, you'll notice this 10 nanofarad um, capacitor that's a that's labeled 102. That'll help you. Um, coming out of the uh, going into the output of the 386 the transistor is going in between that capacitor and a 4.7K resistor. So this is um, coming into the base. And then again, over here, we're connecting the positive rail to negative with a capacitor, the 22 nano nanofarad that's labeled 223. So this is what's, um, this is where the oscillation is taking place in the circuit is between here and here. Um, interfacing with the base lead on the NPN transistor. Now on the NPN, the emitter is going to ground, of course. I'm using a 360 ohm uh, resistor. However, you can play with that value. I've seen 470 as well, even 100, just, um, but I'm using 360. Um, in between the emitter and the collector is a capacitor. Um, it's a feedback capacitor, um, regulates the uh, feedback of the signal. I'm using a um, 5 or 10 picofarad um, capacitor there. So here's our inductor coil, and I've got one right here. And how you make those is wrap your copper wire around some sort of cylinder that's 4 to 6 millimeters. Now I'm using a tool here and you want to wrap that around um, five to six times. I'm noticing with the um, wrapping it five times, it lowers the megahertz frequency. So that's going into the collector as well of the NPN. Here's our antenna. Um, I'm using about a 15 centimeter, yeah, 15 centimeter uh, copper wire. That's also going into the collector. Now on the other side of the antenna, we've got a 20 to 100 picofarad capacitor. This is what's called the tank circuit right in here. This kind of symbiotic relationship of the resonating inductor, the antenna, and the tank capacitor over here. All right, I've got the circuit powered up here. I've plugged in the LM386 um, amp and speaker for troubleshooting purposes. This is the lead coming out of the LM386. Um, it's known as the data lead. I'm just leaving that exposed to the air. This is actually going to act as our receiver right now, as our test receiver. And when that coil down there is resonating, we're going to pick up uh, radio signal through this wire right here, and it's going to come out of the 8 ohm speaker. But right now, it's not resonating. You want to find the sweet spot. We've got our inductor coil resonating in tandem with the antenna. You can hear it coming out of the 8 ohm speaker and it's getting picked up right there at the end of the lead coming out of the LM386 amp module. The next thing to do is disconnect our amp module very carefully. I say very carefully because it's really a very sensitive uh, situation. 
adjusting this antenna, especially on a breadboard. This is real. This project's really made to solder up, but you can do it with prototyping. Um, you're just going to have to. It's very finicky. The sweet spot of that antenna. Picking this up with the Realtek USB dongle and the antenna about six feet away from the circuit. I've already been experimenting with this for a couple days, so I already know that this is in the 130 to, well, this is almost 180. That's that 555 timer you're hearing. Coming on my laptop speakers. All right, there's our transmitter out there. Probably about 17 feet away and getting a nice strong signal here.